<clears throat> All right, that first one was Tim Wendelbo's Honduras profile and uh, roasted at uh, six minutes, 16 seconds. The time from first crack to drop was 90 seconds. So I wanted to take it a little bit longer to get that medium Columbia roast profile. Okay, we've got this first roast going. One hundred grams in eighty seven out. That's on roast number one. I'm just going down the list. Uh, normally I wouldn't do this order, but now it's the roast Kenya profile. Then I'll do the roast profile and then the Nordic profile. So all of these, I'll try to stick for that 90 second development after first crack. It's going to be very different because. Okay, so this curve here, let's just look at this together. I'd love to get my camera back so I can see what's going on. Um, so we're roasting on the Kenya curve and here we are following the environmental temperature. So on the last one as well, we were following the environmental temperature and the Honduras curve is kind of a strange one. I don't know, they just submitted it because Tim Wendell Bowe is, um, he must have had a really good coffee and that did a really good job roasting it. But this time we're on the roast Kenya curve, which I've really loved for my Kenyan coffees. Now on both the Wendell Bowe curve and this curve, I'm seeing this little bump here early on, which is interesting because the environmental is still smooth, but we have this little dip here for our Colombian. Down here, there's an intricate fan setting. And so this ever increasing fan percentage, the fan speed is uh, something that works well for the Kenyan coffee. There's a constant line here. This is the chamber RPM. This black line is our uh, heat element. And so the power will go, you know, it'll go 80% and then down to 10% and then back up to 50, 60, and then just kind of keep hovering around this 50, 60 mark. And that's just because it wants to chase and trace this blue line here for the environmental. So this is an ET curve, uh, environmental temperature curve, and that's what it's built around. So we'll see how the Kenya does on it. We'll roast it. It'll just give us a different aspect than when we do the next roast curve and the Nordic curve, both of which are environmental as well. This curve isn't even built to go out into the six, seven minute range. So we are flat line in here. It'll give us a different taste of the Columbia. This was the last baked coffee. Let's find out what Kenya's like when it's baked. 87.3. Okay, so that was from 100. 4.7% loss. 87.3 grams. Kenya third one is Here we 
go. You can see it here, it kind of speeding up. So you're going to get this on the other screen too, but here we've got um, green. The fan is speeding up. The purple is the chamber RPM. So the chamber RPM is speeding up. The heat is speeding, the rate of rise is speeding. And that's because again, it's letting the temperature drop with this blue line until the environmental temperature hits here. And then uh, it's going to start adding heat and it's gonna chase that environmental line. Recording myself in uh, two places at the same time. We are on the roast standard. This one should take us out. This is a lot hotter. And so we should get a really good full development if we push the temperature all the way up to 250 degrees. This is roast number three. And the roast, roast, if you have a Norwegian accent, roast. And I don't know what it's going to be, X, Y, Z. ZYX. Do a little math here real quick. I'm going to try to spell Fahrenheit. Everyone thinks Fahrenheit's easy to use. You can't even spell it. So seven, that's 404.6. You know, bean probes and temperatures, interesting always, 410. So that's like a 210 Celsius. Yeah, maybe we'll take this to 210, let's see. Couldn't do it on the last one, we didn't have enough energy. We've done it on Tim Wendell Bowes, but that was just a funky curve. So let's close some of these out. See here, we got a strong rate of rise still. That's Celsius, mind you. All right, again, you get some insights into uh, building up of fan speed, building up of chamber RPM. A lot of these on the drop, um, we also drop the chamber RPM just to gradually introduce that coffee into the chamber. Um, so with a reduced fan speed, with a reduced chamber speed, and then just kind of warming up and ramping up into it, then as we add heat, we increase the fan. As we add heat, we increase the chamber RPMs. Um, so we're not just spinning coffee in a cold area, you know, we're working it slowly and as it gets hotter, we're able to turn it faster. New logic, mental frameworks for working, for roasting. This first crack is a lot stronger. If we go 90 seconds on this one, we're probably gonna, probably gonna get pretty hot. We just came in with more energy because it's a good profile for 100 grams of Columbia. So that's great. The first roast, Tim's profile, we went to 207.5. This is gonna go a little bit hotter. Two oh nine point five, nice. First roast, Tim's profile, we went to 207.5. This one's gonna go a little bit hotter. Two oh nine point five, nice. Seven oh three. So where were we last time? Six 
16, yeah, good. So this one, I'm happy with that. 703 at 90 seconds, 209.5 Celsius. So that was real close to the 410. 210, 410 that we just looked at. And let's check the weight real quick. 86.8, yep, a little lighter. Cooling, and then let's do our Nordic standard this time. So Nordic standard, that's gonna bring down the environmental. The last one had a 220 charge. So it goes down to a 200 charge. Just say 86.8. Set. It's nice and slow there. Let's go see what it's done on the screen. It's nice and slow there. Let's go see what it's done on the screen. Cheers, Victor, Paul, coffee. Hard day's work. It's not a hard day's work. I used to pull weeds and pick asparagus as a kid. That was hard. Pretty blessed to have a job where I get to work with you guys and roast coffee and sell coffee and do marketing and talk to amazing clients and help people open cafes and living the dream. Come home and work some more roasting coffee on a beautiful roaster in my garage and birds are chirping outside. What are we looking at? Okay, so let's get this. This Nordic standard is, um, sorry, when I move that around, everything disappears. So uh, look at the top blue line and just that aggressive climb of the environmental temperature. So in order to get an aggressive climb on the environmental, you know, the power is going to do what it needs to do to trace that blue line. This is an environmental curve. So we want to and will maintain a constant fan speed at 75%, a constant chamber, it's usually it's almost always 55%, and that's just like a roast default. Um, regardless, we're going to see a really aggressive climb through yellowing, sugar browning, caramelization, first crack. So this is going to be a faster roasted coffee. Uh, which is interesting if this really is the Nordic style. And, oh, just this flat. Look at, so look at how we just let this be flat for the first minute. Just um, little to no, you know, so that's this power, little to no real heat application. So kind of the concept of a soak on the front end and letting the, the red just dip that much deeper. So letting the beans absorb the heat. And this curve is 20 degrees cooler. So it's only a 200 degree drop compared to the other roast drop, was a, which was a 220. And 220 in Celsius is more standard to our 410, 420, you know, a hotter drop. So having a cooler drop, having a soak in the front end is really an interesting concept to let those green beans warm up for the first minute more gently. Uh, during that time though, you can see, even though we're not trying to increase the heat through power, we are increasing the chamber speed and the fan speeds. So that's another cool learning point. 
I'm gonna go see how this coffee smells. You can smell it right out of the top of the roaster, which is awesome. So for me, it's a little concerning. Uh, Chinese coffee is classic at this. There's always this, um, not vinegar, but a sharp green vegetal smell. Uh, Chinese can err and lean toward phenol and um, chlorogenic, kind of an offensive acid. So uh, this is reminding me of that. Get a nice steady ROR here, just kind of cruising along. And this is not going to slow down because as you see, that environmental temperature is going to keep on racing. Cancel this because it'll go 90 seconds. If I let it go, it'll do an auto drop at 60 seconds. But See what else we can do here. Eighty-seven, eighty-nine, eighty-seven, Quaker, first crack. This is already cool. That's cool coffee. I'm gonna cancel this because I want to go 90 seconds. If I let it go, it'll do an auto drop at 60 seconds, but I want to see what else we can do here. Seven, eighty-six, nine. I already have that. Eighty-six, eight. I'm gonna go eighty-six, nine. It's hard to film and roast and keep everything organized. Okay, so this is a little fast for a shorter time, but look at that, 220 drop now, 221.5. That's a dark roast level right there. That's like a 440 degree. Okay, so I'm gonna cool down my machine here. I'm going to open the chamber. Uh, that's essentially like opening the charge gate there. one, much lighter. Okay. Darker version. There you go. Machine's cooling down. Bring it down to 40 Celsius is safe. Hot summer day in in Oregon. We might reach 40 degrees. That's like a hundred and how hot is that? It's like 105 outside. So this is a little faster, shorter time, but look at that, 220 drop now, 221.5.
You guys will see these tomorrow, but this was roast number one. Number two, I think that's our light roast. Ugly coffee. Number three, going medium. Got some nice Quakers in there. I think Max would like this one for his Pearl Mini. That one's definitely darker. You can see those two. Those four. There, that'll be a nice spectrum. Good little cupping experiment tomorrow. This is my Kenya from this morning. Still got to clean it up. Come on, there's a lot of pressure here. I got my friends that are all watching. Yikes, we had a nice little spike there. <laughs> nice little climb. Now we don't get an ROR on the record. I need to write Trond and tell him to build that into the program. But I love the ROR on the live view. So yeah, um, this coffee definitely just kept on racing. You know, we kept that constant chamber rpm 55 fan 75 um but this coffee got up to a bean temp of 221 221 used to be my medium roast 221 degrees Celsius. that was our classic medium there you go 429.8 that was the way we did our medium espresso really our uh, specialty espresso discovery blend. All right, there we go. Uh, I think I'm going to really like our, so let's just pull these up here real quick. And these first couple were rubbish. Blimey, I need to use a English swear word for Paul to make him blush. I don't want that. I told you to delete it last time. It's like, oh, blimey. Real bloke. <laughs> I'm a real bloke. Uh, sometimes they load slowly. You know, it's pretty impressive though. They're a startup company and here they have an online portal for people to roast coffee all over the world. That's pretty sweet. Pretty soon we're gonna do that with QuickBooks and Roast Log and people will be buying coffee all over the world. All right, so here's our Nordic and it's cool. We can still trace that, right? Um, so Nordic, we went six minutes, we went six, past 6.30 on a production, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a 10 minute roast. Here we went seven. So that roast standard was a longer and much less aggressive. So we had a much less aggressive. We only went to 209. Probably I'm gonna like that roast in terms of the best medium. This is gonna taste a bit dark. And that one's gonna be a nice medium. And this one, it's gonna be interesting. It might be baked. Let's find out really flat and we'll see about Tim window blows that one was really short so that one was only um, is that 613 613 but we did get up to 206 so that'll be our light roast so we got a light a baked a medium and a dark this has been fun guys hope it's not too painful Peace. see you tomorrow